to VRGL Got Game, the podcast that takes you on a journey into the world of virtual reality girls league. In the VR and gaming industries, we'll be showcasing the amazing talent and achievements of those in gaming. From esports champions to game developers and streamers, we'll be speaking with inspirational people who are shaping the gaming landscape. Whether you're a hardcore gamer or just curious about the world of gaming, VRGL Got Game is the podcast for you. Let's get started. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to VRGL Got Game. I'm your host tonight, Jeep Girls, and with me is my co-host, Miss Lolly B. How are you, Lolly? Hey, I am great. Thank you for having me. This is a great opportunity to sit here and be with you once again. So thank you. Thank you. Absolutely. I'm looking forward to this. I, I'm thrilled to be here. You're one of the administrators at uh, VRGL. What do you think? Yes, I think it is a great group of young women um, and older women and middle-aged women. Uh, I think that there is a lot of camaraderie within the group, um, and I'm just excited to be there. Yes, it's gonna it, it, it's it's amazing. It's we have a lot of we have a lot of fun. We have a great time over there, and uh, our first guest is very special. Uh, not only is this person a member of VRGL. But they are also an amazing content creator. Absolutely amazing content content creator. Does some fantastic work. And they are currently, to my knowledge, the highest ranked female in VRML, in Echo Arena. And that is the number 18, Sane Wolves. And uh, that's Vrettel. Vrettel, how are you? Hi, I'm great. Thank you so much for having me. Absolutely. Uh, so we're going to get underway. The teams are ready to to go ahead and ready up. They uh, will be playing a game here in the background and hopefully enjoying themselves in Echo Arena as we chit chat this evening. So I'm going to let Lolly B start off with our first question because it's a great one. So take it away, yeah. Lolly. So, Vrittle, it is nice to hear your voice this evening. Thank you for thank you so much for being here. Um, my question to you is the very first question, and this is the first thing that I really love to ask um, players that I'm that I play with. How did you come up with your Oculus name? Well, that is the famous question. Um, <laughs> where to start? I. It used to be Vrettel YT GFX, but then it was too long, and I didn't really like the YT at the end of it, or the GFX, which stood for graphic design, which I am working on in schooling right now. Um, Vrettel is actually the name of one of God's angels, and I thought it was an interesting name, because it, it's short, it's clean. Um, I was watching a Netflix show um, called Lucifer, actually, and it had a... It's about... A devil in California, and one of the gods' angels' name is Riddle, and I just thought it was a pretty cool name, and I stole it. There you go. There you go. I love the backgrounds that that there's so many different people have um, for their names, and they're so unique. And um, and I personally have not had any other players that are close to Riddle, so that is a very good name that you picked out. Nice job. Thank That's, you. Nice. You're welcome. You're welcome. How long have you been playing uh, VR altogether? Not just one particular game, but how long have you been um, a player of VR? Mm, I got my Rift CV1 in uh, 2019. Around January, I bought it off a military person who was moving and no longer needed it. And uh, I had a very bad computer at the time, so I did upgrade my computer which was quite costly. But um, yeah, so around 2019, I started playing Echo, actually. And then I played some Minecraft VR. You know, I played uh, like Rec Room. And then over time, I got more into competitive Echo Arena. So so let me ask you, did you get a good buy on your first CV1 from that individual who was, uh, who was leaving the um, VR world did you get a good steal yes i actually got um three sensors the headset the controllers and three like um tripods for 120 bucks so oh my, oh my goodness God. it really was a steal <laughs> you know and he gave me three usb extenders so i'm i'll be forever grateful for him wow oh, yeah, what that's... do you think he was 
Go ahead. No, no go I was ahead. gonna say that's quite a deal. I just recently paid mm-hmm. like one sixty for one that came with just two sensors just to replace one that was in the house broken. <laughs> yeah, we um <laughs> I live near a military base, so when they move or get deployed, they can't usually take most of their stuff with them. So we get really good deals around here. Nice. That's wonderful. I wonder what he would think if he knew that um <laughs> since season three that you have continually moved up um up the ladder in VR with his steal of a bargain. What do you think he would say? <laughs> Um, I definitely put it to good use. I think he would be <laughs> bamboozled. <laughs> he doesn't really one. beat Saber, so I'm not sure yeah. how he feels about esports. But, oh gosh, um, <laughs> I'm sure he'd be quite interested in that. Brettel, I have a question for you. How how does it feel to know that you are not just on one of the top ten teams in North America, but to know that you are the highest ranked female in Echo Arena right now? Um, it's crazy. I used to look at like Rosie and Saluna and I was like, holy cow, like I look up to these women so much. They've come so far and I'm like, it would be a dream to be where they are. And I'm not there. I might be there towards the end of the season, but I'll forever be grateful for them. They really inspired me a lot. Um, I was not very good at Echo in the beginning. I did come in with a bad attitude, but I quickly learned that that does not get you anywhere. So I quickly got humbled and um, just kept working on myself because I wanted to be better. So I just got better. (laughs) I love that. And, you know, like I was saying, you and I had spoke briefly about it this week. What I what I love is you're not just an echo player. You you make content. You're a graphic designer. Uh, you I see you in different discords all the time responding <laughs> to people and and helping people and encouraging people and I absolutely love that and I know that you know the other girls definitely have have laid the path and and made it a clean a little yeah, bit yeah. easier you know they they kind of yeah, yeah. fought through there to to get through the muck first but uh, I think it's amazing and I love so much what you give back to the community. And that's part of the reason I wanted to have you here. It wasn't just because of your skill. It was because <laughs> your skill and you give back so incredibly much. And as as a lot of people in the community do, uh, but it's you. really nice to see and to hear. I, I didn't realize that you were going to school for graphic design, which is phenomenal. Yeah. What are you hoping to do with that? Um, I'd like to do it as a side job along with photography or videography. Um, But I'm going to major in uh, software engineering, but graphic design on the side kind of thing. Yeah, because you recently bought a new camera lens, right? Yes, they are (laughs) so expensive. They are. They are indeed. (laughs) Oh, my goodness. So, Riddle, I have a question for you. So talk to me about um, being on a team and the league, and how does it feel? Are you... Are you the only uh, female player on your on your team? And if so, have you been with any other women or females that are um, that you've played with since season three? Can you talk to me a little bit about that? Yeah. So like team history kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Um, So right now I'm with Comrade Mr. Bacon, Cam Spin, Jax and Narwhale in Animosity. They are amazing people. They are so encouraging. I've got to say this is the best team I've ever been on. Um, If I feel down about anything, you know, especially Cam, they're always there to, you know, lift me up, tell me to keep going. It's going to get better. I will forever appreciate them for that. Um, I am the only female on the team, but they, I love that they don't treat me any different. You know, they, Mm -hmm. they see me as a person. They respect that and we respect each other and we're just like, big group that just likes to have fun have fun um i like that yeah the first team i made was with two females actually they don't really play anymore which was quite sad but um Mm -hmm. we back in season three we made a team and it was just for giggles (laughs) we were not that good but you know every game Mm -hmm. made a really good laugh and so that was really good that kind of continued to season four season five and six i got a little more competitive um but no, I got to say, St. Wolves is definitely <clears throat> the best team I think I've been on. It has the best team members. They're so supportive, and I couldn't ask for anyone better. Do you guys uh, do amazing. things outside of Echo? Like, do you hang out? And everybody has their team Discord. Do you guys do other things together, play other games or anything? Um, 
yeah, we're switching to Onward currently. Well, not switching, but like we're integrating an Onward team together with some other people because you can have more people mm-hmm. um, if you play Onward. So we're doing that. Um, they've signed up for a bunch of tournaments. Um, I know Jackson and Narwell have hung out in real life, but they're in the middle of the United States, and I'm sadly on the East Coast, <laughs> but <laughs> I'm trying to convince them to go to the VRML land because if they did, that'd be amazing. But yeah, mm-hmm. we're... We do quite a bit, but uh, excuse me. <laughs> we do quite a. We have a variety of games we play. We'll play Call of Duty. We'll play Fortnite. We play a bunch of stuff. That's, that's great. Amazing. That's yeah. really great to hear. I like to hear that camaraderie. Um, yeah. you said something that they're always there for you. Yeah. Um, I have that same experience. Um, on relationships within VR. It's unlike no other. Right. Talk to me a little bit about some of the relationships that you've had over the seasons. Um, and, and you know, you don't have to name any names, but but talk to me about those um, about those great friendships that you have developed. Um, okay, one person I can say definitely is Rosie Hope. Uh, she, like I said, has been a huge inspiration to me, and uh, she's helped me a lot too. If I was feeling down, she always reminded me. Um, to keep going that you're worth it i will always appreciate her for that she's amazing she's so kind um cam cam helps me a lot too and there's some other people uh, the community is really good you know Mm-hmm. So you talk to me about where they live in, you know, in NA. You talk to me, you, you said a little bit about that. How do you meet, do, uh, for individuals who may not be VR aware, um, virtual reality aware, how did you meet? How did you meet these individuals? Mm, they were hosting a tryout for St. Wolves. Uh, yeah. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so they were holding a tryout, and they opened it to everybody, which I think was amazing. It's very nice of them to give everybody a shot. Um, And it came down to me and Nate, and we both got in. So I was really grateful that I got a chance for that. And then wonderful relationships spawn from there, right? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Have you met anyone in a pub that you have stayed friends with? Hmm. Mm. my first team in season three i met all my teammates through pubs and then we were like oh we'll start a vml team for fun there you go fantastic now you mentioned you mentioned rosie hope and she's Mm -hmm. definitely a pillar for oh yeah uh for vr and for females in gaming in fact she is one of the first she actually she is the first female that I met in person uh, at Redshift Land really? number one. She was remarkable and just a bundle of energy and, mm-hmm. uh, you know, contagious with her smile and her attitude. And that just really flowed over into into meeting her and uh, definitely someone someone great to look up to and, and a joy to know in the community. So I, I completely yeah, agree I with agree. you there. But you know what oh, yeah. is crazy is that that you're there with them now. You know, you're you're. <laughs> It's interesting when you admire those people and then you become yeah. one of them. And it's really a nice dynamic to see because you have uh, you have people that look up to you very much like you looked up to them. And, mm-hmm. you know, that can be sometimes a little trying and it can be sometimes a little scary. How do you how do you handle that knowing that you are potentially somebody's role model? Is Does that freak you out <laughs> a little bit or is it, you know, what it is or what? It definitely feels quite un, uh, unreal, but whenever someone needs advice, I do my best to give them what I would do in this situation, you know, or what I've heard or, you know, what to do. Um, it is scary, but I think I'm doing okay at it, I think. I think you're doing great at it. I, you know, like I said, <laughs> I see you, I see you all over the place and it's always nice to me when I see your name pop up and I'm like, oh, she's so sweet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and because helpful. I remember, I remember I first joined Viramel and I'm like, oh, there's so there's so much going on, you know. There's there's the rules, I get it, but like there's so much. Like, where do I start, you know? So it's nice to go in and help someone who doesn't know what's going on, really, and to lead them in the right track and explain things, bring it out, drag it out, uh, divide it up, so they have somewhere to start. 
That's very good. That's very good. Which leads me to be to think about this question. Um, women are it's, women seem to be or females seem to be a lot less interested in virtual reality. It is more male dominated. Um, why do you think that is so? Um, <laughs> that is a good question. It is. Um, I would say certain environments um, aren't that friendly and. Um, you can get into toxic games with people that are quite mean. Um, mm -hmm. But I still think that the positivity in the community definitely overrides that. So surrounding yourself with good people will keep your interest longer. But I don't know. <laughs> that is a really good question. Um, well, that's a great answer. That is a great answer. It's who you surround yourself with. And yeah. if I had to guess, it is why you have been become so successful in VR is oh, yeah. like you talked about before who you surround yourself with. Yeah, I definitely, like I said, I came into the community with a bad attitude and I did not, I honestly did not hang around the best of people. But as soon as I came to that realization that like something needs to change and I surrounded myself with these better people, you know, it's, it's a game changer. It's crazy. Everything gets a lot better. It really does. Mm -hmm. uh, I agree with you. Talk to us for a second about your content creation. What what <laughs> drives you? How did you get started in that? Because um, you make wanted... some killer stuff. I mean, it's beautiful. Oh, thank you. Beautiful. Um, if you have not checked it out, we will make sure that we <laughs> drop Brettel's, uh socials in, in, in the chat somewhere so that you can watch the incredible work that is produced by you because it's, it's you. remarkable. It's lovely. So I, I would love to I know how you tried. how you got started in that. Um, there was a member in the community who is sadly no longer with us, but um, he he taught me the basics of editing in After Effects. You know, um, I really wanted to get into I got into graphic design first. I should say, um, I thought it was cool. I thought it was neat. Uh, I wanted to customize things by hand. I wanted to create something that I can be like, hey, I made that kind of thing. So I got a computer. I did some YouTube tutorials. You know, I was not the best, but y'all got to start somewhere. And I worked on Blender with 3D modeling um, different characters, and I would put them in Photoshop and just mess around and see how the elements and stuff work. So, and then I kind of took a break for like a year and then I went into schooling for it and I'm like, wow, this is crazy. Like after you get the knowledge of graphic design and you look at a poster somewhere or a billboard, you're like, I know how that was made. Like, it's just mind blowing. Um, you can look at things and be like, oh, these colors go with those colors. Or you can be like, oh, those colors don't match mm -hmm. at all, you know? Um, nice. And so, yeah, I learned Photoshop. Uh, I learned Illustrator. I learned After Effects and Media Encoder. So I did some... I got into echo editing, video editing, sort of say, and it was hard. I did lose a lot of motiv excuse me, motivation on the way, but, you know, after coming back so many times and finally getting it, like, after, like, after my first edit, it clicked to me. I'm like, wow, this could be, this can be great if I keep pursuing this. So I did, and it slowly got better. I still have quite a bit to improve but i think i'm proud of where i am right now well i love it great. i think it's well, great <laughs> drop your tiktok um uh is it vr spell your name for me v r e t i l s i just play okay, uh, clips usually nice at um at for the for your tiktok what are the socials could individuals find you at mm. YouTube is the same thing. I post my edits on there or funny videos uh, with Millsy. We play the back rooms quite a bit. <laughs> yeah. so I edit funny videos or I'll make some montages. Um, it's the same thing, V-R-E-T-I-L-S. Great. Yeah. Nice. I hope you get some new followers from that. <laughs> Thank you. I am. I, <laughs> work. I did work for Motherboard 2 with Nepaland that sadly got canceled, but... Yeah. I'll forever be grateful for the opportunity I got to be a NEPA editor and for being a Veramel content creator. That also looks good on a resume, does it not? Yeah. It helps. Absolutely. I can show that work to um, employers and they'll be like, oh, that's that's cool. Like, how many people do you see that edit VR esports with right. Absolutely. Space Frisbee, you know? 
<laughs> and how many women do you women. see? Yeah. That, yes, absolutely. <laughs> there you go. I like yeah. that. I like that. Yeah, you're definitely congratulations you're on all of them. Definitely one of a one of a kind coming in there. <laughs> uh, you know, it's Ooh, I tell you what, some of the some of this part of the industry. So I had been in in video work for many, many years. And mm -hmm. I was always, you know, wow, you're a female. You run this company. Yes, I do. Yeah. And yeah, it, yeah, it was one of those things. Nobody did I that. You were a guy. <laughs> right. Exactly. Exactly. Um, so if you can, you know, it's breaking into that is is a great place to be and definitely shaking up that, uh, you know, the, the male run part of that is is something different and mm -hmm. it changes um, point of views definitely. big time definitely and yeah. you know what's interesting is i don't know about you but you have a, a tendency to see things a little bit different uh and you can put a different spin on the story that you're t telling through your work which right, is right, right. which is interesting yeah definitely and you know i think it opens the eyes to other women too if they're like oh wow you know Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, because they can say, this, hey, yeah. yeah, I could do this, too. It's possible. You know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or I relate to that content. Right. Right. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. So my next question that I want to talk to you about is um, kind of a little bit more close to home for me. Um, but talk to me about um, do you think that VR has anything to do with fitness? Um, Definitely. You know, there's. I definitely sweat quite often while playing Echo. <laughs> um, I think because I'm connected to a cord and my play space is very small, so I get very yeah. anxious that I'm going to hit something. Um, I guess hitting things makes me stronger. <laughs> um, Echo, you move a lot. If you don't move a lot, you're not really playing Echo. Uh, <clears throat> just don't don't play space abuse. But um, yeah, I think it's a good way. It's a it's a fun and healthy way to exercise. You know, it's not that much exercise, but you're still spending, you know, two, three hours a day standing, moving your arms, sweating, breathing heavy, you know. Absolutely. I agree. And not only with Echo, but I, I think I can feel it the same way in, in other games. Beat yeah. Saver being one of them. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, Beat Saver, for sure. You do get your cardio work out there. Also, there is there are a couple of VR Fit games. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, that are out there that are very similar. They're all similar to Beat Saber. You know, mm -hmm. we're, they are, but it's the design, like you were talking about earlier, it's the design and the attraction to um, that type of sport that is there. What is your, um, besides Echo, um, if anybody does not know about chasing a disc back and forth in an arena, what is the next type of gaming, VR gaming that you enjoy? Um mm -hmm. I definitely say like Beat Saber probably it's a very popular VR game. If you mm -hmm. went up to someone and was like, "Oh, I play VR," and they didn't have any knowledge of VR, they'd probably be like, "Oh, I know Beat Saber. You know the game where you hit the blocks to the music." Um, that game's pretty popular. Agree. You know, yeah. my only complaint with Beat Saber is that <laughs> you can't talk to people. Yes. You know what I mean? Like I would love yep. to be able to stand there and while you're talking about songs or whatever and you're trying to choose what you want to do, if you could talk to your party and, and you know and, and be going, mm -hmm. "Hey, how you doing? Oh my gosh, that was really good." or you whatever you might be saying to yeah. them. Right, right. That's the only thing to me that it's lacking is mm -hmm. that ability to communicate with each other. Sure and again, that's that people. relation. Yes, it, yeah, it would be, wouldn't it? <laughs> goes back to that relationship, building those relationships that you can have within the VR community. Um, some of these individuals I have not even, or we have not even seen face to face, but I honestly feel like I, 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 I love Jeepsy and I, I love, <laughs> I love seeing her content and um, the, the same way goes, you know, I, I'm, I'm one of your new followers now and <laughs> I will look forward to seeing that novel forever. Remember this conversation we had here um it, it is those relationships that gosh talk, talk to me about echo maybe not being around and how are we going to fulfill those fulfill those relationships what are your plans right, right. um well like i said we plan on moving onward um I'm really hoping oh, yeah. to stay connected to a lot of the people I met. I don't want Echo ending to be like the end, you know. I'd still like to mm -hmm. stay connected. I'm sure we can find something else to do, you know. There's thousands of games out there. 
free games, paid games, doesn't matter. Just I'd really like to stay connected to a lot of the people I met through the game. It definitely altered my life quite a bit, I would say. In what ways? Um, Good ways. And there was some bad ways, but, you know, it's taught me. It has taught me quite a few things, you know. Um, I met a lot of good people. I met a lot of bad people. It's taught mm -hmm. me... <laughs> it's taught me some social skills honestly um taught me to be more open-minded and you know meeting meeting other women in the game was amazing is that like your your top takeaway has been what's your top takeaway lesson that you have gained from not just being in vr but in being in the communities that are that are here for that what is your your big takeaway Definitely to keep an open mind, you know, um, there's a lot of angry people I've met, but you know, you hear it a lot, but you really don't know what someone's going through, you know, so you just got to keep an open mind and you've got to just stay positive. You got to help. And if you can't help, just don't escalate the situation. That's a very, yeah, a very good takeaway. <laughs> <laughs> What do you think, um, if it, it, what kind of impact has VR had on the gaming industry in your, in, from your perspective? Mm, VR overall? Yes, VR overall versus PC gaming. I think it definitely helps people interact more, um, helps them interact more with people. It feels a little more real. So it can help on certain social skills and you meet a lot more people because it's a whole different community if you think about it. You know and what I, I like? Uh, go, no, ahead. go ahead. Go ahead. You go ahead. Oh, I was going to say. I, I like the. <laughs> Tag. Go. <laughs> I like the idea of people enjoy me for me. I am nobody. Right, right. That is, that is, um, I'm not being made up. And I'm wondering, do you feel the same way? Even though it's not my real name, it's, it, this sounds so cliche ish, but do you go in there and you feel accepted for who you are? In a safe way? Yeah. In VR I would, world? I, yeah. I'd say, yeah, around, you know, like I was saying, the good people I surround myself with, definitely. And if, if somebody asked, how is that possible? How would you answer that? If somebody said, how is that possible? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> um, patience. Patience and understanding, I would say. Um, VR is a lot easier to understand emotions, I feel like, because, like, you can read kind of body language of people depending on the game, you know, mm -hmm. it makes it funnier. It makes it more dramatic. It, it changes everything. Uh, VR gaming really does. And it keeps you more active. Like you were talking about earlier. I agree. I agree. It's reading the, reading the body language and reading the, right. um, the tone, the mm -hmm. definitely the tone. And uh, it feels very real. Yeah. Extremely so I feel like real. People can act more real and more like themselves in VR because they can express themselves easier. In good and bad ways, like you were saying earlier, right? Yes, yes absolutely. And then it brings those social skills, those positive social skills, because you learn how to combat some of those negative, um, those, those negative traits you might find in VR. Mm -hmm. Right, right. I agree. Very, so very good. More real. In, in yeah. knowing that people do have a tendency to be true to themselves in VR, right? Because why would you be somebody fake? Have you, mm -hmm. have you seen that it's, it, you actually see what people, who people really are? Or do yes. you think that they're still putting on a show? Because I've, most of my experience has been when you're in an arena with somebody or you're in a VR game anywhere with somebody, you're seeing who that person really is, whether they are, you know, being fantastic and nice and kind or they're being obnoxious and horrible, whatever it may be, they tend to put their guard down and they're not necessarily playing a character. Is that what you seem to have seen too? Yeah, I definitely I 100% agree. Yeah. Spending one-on-one -on -one time with people too helps a lot. Helps you understand people better. And <clears throat> one of the things that I find very very interesting is that it, within this community and within VR as a whole is that you get to meet people that you never would have met any other way. Right. I never yeah. would have crossed paths with you. I never would have met Lolly B. I, I can list names upon names upon names that I never, ever would have met had it yeah. not been for VR. 
100%. And that's yes. not necessarily just due to space. I've got people in my own neighborhood that play VR that I would not have met had it not been for, really? for gaming. Yeah. Really? Yeah. That is crazy. And yeah. also, you can take it anywhere with you. Um, you can go on vacation, but you still take your headset with you. Yes, and you still continue to do that. <laughs> it. Is, it is a mess. It is a mess when that um, happens. Have I, you ever done that? Um, yeah, I've brought my kids. <laughs> A couple places, a couple yeah. hotel rooms. I flew, exactly. I flew with mine and would not check it. I put it in my backpack and kept it with me like a baby. In fact, I made TikToks uh, on the plane with my headset. <laughs> my brother, my brother recently moved out and he took my quest with him because he felt oh. very lonely. So oh. I figured he needed it more than Aww. me. So I let him borrow it. That was sweet. that is a, that is great though. But can yeah. you imagine your brother off? In, in the distance, but still being able to meet together in VR somewhere. Yeah, it is um, crazy. Yeah, and do you do that? Yeah, I've played with him a couple times. He's not really into Echo. He's he's very tall. He's six foot five. Um, he doesn't really understand the concept, uh, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> he's more of a blades and sorcery kind of guy. But you know what? Even right. if you got together and watched a movie in VR or, you know, hung mm -hmm. out in, in each other's houses or worlds or whatever you might yeah. want to do, there's all sorts of things. I happened into one night. Uh, I was into, before I found Echo Arena, I was into uh, one of the fishing games. And oh, yeah. it was so wild because I went into this one, you know, you can jump around from, from place to place. And I went into this one beach area and there were these three guys fishing. And all they were bringing in were sharks. That's it. They weren't bringing in any other fish. And as they would bring one in, they would name it. Not only would they name it, but then they would have to go back and repeat all of the names of the sharks that they had named previously. Oh, wow. And they worked their way through the oh. alphabet. And these three guys, I just sat there and I didn't talk to them at first. I just observed them and listened to them. And, you know, they would bring up they would bring up the first one. They'd be like, that's Shark Andrew. And then the second one would be would be that's Barbara. And they would just keep going down this list. And whenever they brought in like Charles, they would have to say and first was Andrew and second was Barbara and third yeah, yeah, was yeah. Charles and keep going through the list. And I finally just said, OK, I have to ask you, what are you guys doing? And mm -hmm. it was the coolest thing because it was a dad and his two adult sons, and they didn't oh. live near each other. And they would come together every single day and play this game where they were playing together and fishing together and naming these sharks. And it was a way to work on their wow. aging father's memory because he was what? having to, it was wild. What? And it was, it was one of those things that has stuck with me ever since then. And I was like, that is, that right there is one of the coolest mm -hmm. things for virtual reality that I have ever yeah. seen. They didn't get to that, see each other that. often. They came together to fish and to enjoy each other's company and to help each other out. And it was, I, I had tears. I had, I was like, okay, I have to leave. Yes. <laughs> the helping his memory part is insane, you know, because that wouldn't be possible without you know the vr right i mean what are you gonna do call him and say okay we're gonna go through the alphabet <laughs> I mean, yeah let's, yeah. let's exactly. pretend to fish over the phone <laughs> right right it was wild it was cool that is so cool that is a great great piece there and how realistic is i mean there there are concepts of where it's not as realistic but there are many realistic oh uh, yeah pieces and practices within the vr community it's it's mm -hmm. it's it's impeccable. Um, if anybody does not have this opportunity, go ahead and look at um, at her TikTok at uh, Rilla's TikTok. Am I saying it correctly, Rilla's? Riddle. 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 Like like Riddle. Riddle. It's okay. Riddle. Nobody <laughs> can ever pronounce it. I'm. It's okay. Uh, Riddle's TikTok and check it out because you will be utterly amazed at this uh, at, at these abilities that that you're that you're seeing and what all is on your youtube um it's just kind of mean it's funny videos of me playing horror games with friends especially milzy three two one and um <laughs> it is some some edits you know i'm i'm kind of all over That's i'm awesome. excited I, to look they, at that as well the horror game ones are very loud so i would turn the volume <laughs> down i can't mm -hmm. imagine why <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay I what's, what's your favorite horror game the back rooms the back rooms. Okay. I haven't played that one. I haven't played Escape that one. The back rooms. They just updated it and it's insane, you know. And they have a VR version 
of Inside the Backrooms, and I'm way too scared to play it. <laughs> I refuse to play Phasmophobia in VR. Oh, it's, I refuse. it's scary. You know, as soon as you enter the house, like, the music changes, and I'm like, <laughs> I can breathe. Not it's scary. <laughs> it's scary. We should play sometime. Yeah, dude, I'm totally in for that. That'd be awesome. That'd be awesome. Cheap Girls meets Phasmophobia in VR. <laughs> ah, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. Well, they are wrapping up their third round right now. And as much as I hate to say it, that means we are wrapping up this incredible <laughs> podcast. Rettle, do you have any closing words for us? Um, Keep going. Stay motivated. Keep going. Stay motivated. Those are wise words indeed. <laughs> yes. And thank you. Thank you so much for inviting me. Um, You said a lot of things that mean so much to me. I can't I cannot express to you how much they mean to me. Well, you so are you. you're you're Both definitely you. one to watch, and and we'll be <laughs> we'll be following you throughout the rest of this season, and uh, <laughs> hopefully following you in some onward. That's going to be cool too. Yes, I'm I'm not good at onward. <laughs> I will not be a top ranked yes. female. It is yet. Scary yes, game. I yet. agree with Lolly B there. Yet. yet. That's right. <laughs> Thank you. I, Thank I you. give it, it six is... months, and you're going to be well known in the in that I one have... too. I have very bad eye hand coordination, so onward is quite difficult for me. Well, I expect to see great things. I am just sure of it. We'll <laughs> see you in, in in the upcoming seasons of Onward. Thank you Thank for you. so much for being here. It's a pleasure meeting you. I look forward to seeing your socials. Thank you so much, you guys. It means so You're much. You're welcome. You're welcome. All right, Ms. Lolly B, thank you so much for joining me as co-host this evening. It was lovely, as always, to chat. Do you have any closing words for us? Um, just keep it real, people. It is exciting. Um, technology is ever advancing. And I look forward to hopefully meeting some new people in VR. Thank you for having me, Jeeves. It's been a great pleasure. Absolutely. And please remember to be kind. We will see you next time. Thanks for tuning in to VRGL Got Game, where we celebrate and empower gamers of all genders. We hope you found today's discussion informative and entertaining. Until next time, keep on gaming and supporting the diverse and talented individuals in this industry. Stay tuned. The game goes on. Mm -hmm.